Good day people. So China. Judging by the introduction, you understood that it will be about how the development of mankind and with the technology changed China and their culture, so let's start now with a little history of Chinese culture. A big role in the formation of Chinese culture, both in ancient times and now, hierarchy played a role. The model of the state system was traditional relationships in the family, the emperor was the son of heaven, he not only guaranteed the world order, but was also considered the father of all Chinese people who made up one big family, the sacred duty of each of its members was to fulfill his filial duty. An important feature of Chinese culture was the Chinese ceremony, fixed norms of behavior and thinking, formed on the basis of the cult of antiquity. They were laid as a basis for a new type of urban rational culture and management culture, which officials and civil servants had to possess. Unlike other countries, Chinese officials were not a closed caste, administrative positions were not obtained for noble origin, but for certain services to the state and in the case of successfully passing exams. An important feature of ancient Chinese culture, in contrast to European culture, was not the achievement of practical goals, but the personal self-improvement of a person. Confucianism and Taoism were moral and ethical teachings rather than religious beliefs. The man of ancient China considered himself a part of the universe, subject to general laws, therefore he sought not to dispose of nature, but to take root in it. Even modern China, having mastered the latest achievements of science, has preserved a traditional type of culture that unites people into a single entity. From the first years of its existence, Chinese civilization has taken important steps towards self-improvement. In the early stages of the formation of culture, people grew wheat, millet, traditional rice appeared later. Since ancient times, the Chinese have used draft cattle and tools for plowing the land. Quite early, in the middle of 2000 BC, e, they began to produce bronze, and after a while iron. The Chinese decorated bronze dishes with images of dragons and birds, and also learned to make strong fabrics from the thread of the mulberry silkworm. In the 7 to 9 centuries, the Chinese were the first in the world to start use tea, the Chinese poet Lu Yu even wrote the Book of Tea, Cha Jin, 760, where he laid out the system of its correct preparation, you can learn about tea in powders from the book, Cha Lu by the Chinese calligrapher Jiang Xian of the 10th century, 1053. In 2000 BCE, in China, a hieroglyphic writing independent of pronunciation was created, thanks to which speakers of numerous language dialects, not understanding oral speech, could easily communicate in written form. The oldest monument of Chinese literature is the Book of Songs, Xijing, 11 to 6 centuries BC. These are works of Chinese folklore, which were collected by government officials to learn about the people's attitude to the authorities. The songs not only glorified good rulers, but also ridiculed those who did not care for their subjects. Ancient Chinese monumental structures are widely known, the Grand Canal, which was built over many centuries, and the Great Wall of China, thanks to which the Chinese tried to protect themselves from external enemies. As Buddhism spread in China, many temples were built. They were either carved out of the rocks or had the traditional Chinese pagoda look. To a large extent, Chinese Buddhist architecture and sculpture were influenced by Indian traditions, since Buddhism originated in India. This is due to the fact that Indian craftsmen were often invited to build temples and create statues. The 7,000-year-old culture of ancient China can be considered one of the eternal civilizations, while maintaining its own identity, it gave the world a compass, speedometer, seismograph, gunpowder, book printing, and even a water closet. The civilizations of the ancient East made a huge contribution to world culture. These were the first really solid steps on the way to mastering and understanding the surrounding world and realizing one's place in it. But has this been preserved now with the development of civilization and technology? What is modern China like? A Chinese folk proverb says, he who, turning to the old, is able to discover the new, is worthy to be a teacher. Taking into account the scale of technological breakthroughs in various spheres of human activity, which have become a companion of the modern globalized world, it becomes obvious that the political, cultural, social, and economic development of countries and societies is rapidly gaining new dimensions, and the latest processes can no longer be considered in outdated traditional forms. Deep transformations in all areas of human life are becoming more and more tangible and important every day, 
requiring not only the ability to adapt to new conditions, but also critical thinking and the ability to carry out a detailed analysis of the likely consequences of changes of various dimensions, in particular in the international political arena. In 2017, China spent $279 billion on research and development. The CNBC website quotes the words of the Minister of Science and Technology of the People's Republic of China, Wang Gang, China must be among the innovative countries and become a major technological power by 2050. In his opinion, the country now faces, above all, the task of developing fundamental science. He also emphasized the need to promote new technologies that should free the Chinese economy from dependence on heavy industry that harms the environment. According to Reuters estimates, China's 2017 R&D spending is about 2.1% of GDP, well below the 2.8% in the US, 2.9% in Germany and 3.3% in Japan. However, as China's Minister of Science and Technology noted, the country's annual R&D spending has increased by 70.9% since 2012, and China's technological progress cannot be denied. Most notably, Chinese scientists and developers have advanced in the creation of artificial intelligence systems, robotics, and big data processing technologies. In 2017, according to a report by CB Insights, China surpassed the US for the first time in terms of investment in startups developing artificial intelligence AI, algorithms. The US accounted for 38% of global investment in AI startups, while China accounted for 48%. The country is also actively investing in such industries as nuclear and renewable energy, high-speed trains, and electric cars. Experts note that the innovative achievements of the Celestial Empire are the result of purposeful state policy and affect almost all spheres of life. The five-year plan for socio-economic development talks about the need to create advanced infrastructure and promote innovation in the financial sector. During the 13th Five-Year Plan, the Central Bank of China intends to make every effort to promote the development of promising areas such as blockchain and artificial intelligence. Chinese scientists are actively working in all areas important in the modern world. Already, they are looking for solutions to prospects that for most people are somewhere far beyond the horizon. In 2017, Plitnabesna in the city of Tianjin began to build the Chinese Research Institute of Strategies for the Development of New Generation Artificial Intelligence. The tasks of this research institute are the development of the scientific and technical industry in the field of artificial intelligence of the new generation, the development of a general strategy and phased plans, forecasting the trends of advanced technologies and future productions in the fields of science and technology related to artificial intelligence. The quantum computer is one of the most discussed topics in science in recent years. By 2022, China plans to create a super-powerful quantum computer. Leading quantum physicist Pen Jianwei, a member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said, We have a very clear goal that we hope to achieve, which is to build a 50-qubit computer in the next five years. A unit of information in a quantum computer, a qubit, can be in a superposition, be both zero and one at the same time. This will significantly speed up calculations and solve tasks that are inaccessible to modern supercomputers. China has traditionally done many things first or for the first time in the world. Chinese scientists are working on a train that will combine the principles of a maglev or magnetoplane, from the English magnetic levitation, a train on a magnetic suspension set in motion and controlled by magnetic forces, and vacuum, hyperloop trains. Specialists of Southwestern Jiaotong University have created the world's first test track, where they will practice the technologies that will be needed when creating a train that combines maglev and hyperloop train technologies. From the latter, the concept uses a tube in which a vacuum or four vacuum is created, and from the former, the principle of magnetic levitation. Chinese scientists have made significant achievements in robotics. For example, an engineer from Zhejiang University in Hangzhou developed a soft-bodied robot fish. The robot fish is not equipped with traditional solid engines, it moves with the help of artificial muscles made of modern high molecular materials. The robot fish can swim like a stingray and change direction on command. According to experts, the robot fish can be widely used in the work of measuring the temperature, salinity level, or pollution of seawater. Celestial Conquers Nanotechnology 
The journal Nature Communications reported that Chinese scientists have created a new catalyst based on iron nanoparticles that can forever convert ordinary carbon dioxide and hydrogen into a mixture of hydrocarbons similar to gasoline. Converting CO2 into fuels and chemicals will not only help us fight global warming, but also solve the problem of mineral depletion, says the Institute of Chemical Physics in Dalian. Why is the USA opposed to this? If you are interested, like and subscribe to my channel and you will see the answer in the next video about the impact of technology development on the USA.